So here we have the Ross 125 stator and it has two studs that hold these two pulls down. The common problem with this is that these studs lift up, pop out, jump into the starter mechanism and destroy itself and the starter mechanism. So the way to overcome this is drill two holes through the back where the studs are and then press them out and then tap threads in from the front side and put in ro low profile cap screws. I'll demonstrate this process once I've pressed out the studs. So here we are after having done the work I've knocked the two studs out these are the studs that have come out. This is the old pole. The other one cracked in half as uh, I think they'd sustained quite a bit of use already. I then have prepared new M6 screws to go in. On the top bit here I've used some filler to smooth it out so that the pole will not ride on the threads and wear itself out on the threads. All we need to do now is install the two poles back in with their springs and put some green Loctite in so that they can't move around. Leave a slight bit of play so that the pole can still move freely and that'll be it. Job done. So this is the completed refurb of the Ross 125 stator. The studs have been removed and they've been replaced by these cap screws. They are low profile cap screws. If they're not low profile, the clearance is not enough for the starting mechanism to operate above it. The cap screws have also been loctited into the thread that has been cut. Other than that, the refurb is complete. Pulls are operational and uh, the stator is ready to be deployed back into the motor.